life show has been lights, cameras, action. Even when I was in the penitentiary. Ah, Wes Watson. You probably know who he is. And if by chance you somehow don't, basically on his website, he asks you a question, how much money do you have to invest in your growth? Ranging from $1,000 to $50,000 plus. And the only reason he's asking you that question is that amount will be funneled into his pockets. And here's the best part. Go ahead and bring it on in. You will gain absolutely nothing. Interviewing successful people. I'm going to start doing them street interviews and I'm going to go up to people. I'm going to say, so, sir, how'd you do that? How'd you get to where you're at? The guys are like, what do you mean? Where am I? Well, you got your is ugly. How'd you get there? Like, how'd you lose so hard to where you end up with a busted bitch and isn't this the same dude who's had a couple divorces and then also has a bunch of reports, videos, and pictures from an ex with some domestic abuse? Way better. It'll be more relatable because most of you motherfuckers are there and you're not honest enough, to, honest enough to say, well, I gave up a long time ago, didn't chase my dreams, started eating a bunch of bull when I knew I should have done better, and I chose whatever I could get. Kind of like how Wes chooses to take anyone's money he possibly can. Uh, two years, my second marriage. The first one completely was a disaster. What was the biggest Tragic. lesson you learned from your first marriage that you took into your second one? Wait, wait, wait. I already know his answer. Don't beat them. She's got face tattoos. It's probably a bust. Oh, sorry. I but apparently there weren't enough to scare you off in the first place. Yeah, I think I could save them all. So I always try and it fucking wears you down. It just it'll suck all your energy. And I called my mom and I'm like, mom, I fucked up. I caught a shoe term. You may never talk to me again. You know, I'm fucking, uh, I, I'm probably going to get life in prison. And she said, uh, phew. she said like the most profound shit. Like my mom's gangster. She's, I don't even want to know what his mom probably told him is Wes, my son. Do not cling to your only entire story of your entire life and your career being that you were in prison for a longer time than you actually were. I don't know why I can never not say this without choking up, but she said, um, Wes, your whole life you've proven you could hurt people. Like, can you prove you can't? And like that changed my life. So now was his mom talking about his ex or am I missing something? By the way, guys, a lot of these videos I am watching and reacting to is on Baller Busters on Instagram. So if you're curious about checking it out, go ahead. How much you got to pay in taxes a year? Uh, this year was 11 million. What the? <laughs> this, all right, this dude's claiming he paid 11 or was supposed to pay 11 mil in taxes. Down to 3.4. How? Spending enough. Private jet. Uh, properties that are... Um, so this is a uh, event space, you know? So a lot of people are like, why would you rent that place? Well, it's an event space. Well, yeah, no matter what, I feel like even if it wasn't like, it's like you're an influencer and like you use your house for content, it's like an expense, you, you know? Write off all of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like if you, if you make videos, you basically get to write off everything. I like how Wes Watson is talking to probably one of the worst people you could possibly talk to about taxes. The dude has no idea how they work. Let's talk about Wes Watson's flex collection, his cars, his women, his traveling, his income, which is the supposed probably over 50 million yearly, just a measly number there for good old Wes Watson, fresh out of prison. I'm gonna call it how I see it. The dude rents all of his cars, rents everything and pretends to own it in order to flex a certain persona or image to then get those gullible individuals to pay for his absurd coaching. You chill out at night if your brain's going oh, crazy. I just go so over. hard all day. I wake up at 2.45. So I got up at 2.45. I've done three workouts today. So he gets up at 2.45 to do his workouts. In the, I, at 2.45 in the morning, you yeah, wake get up, up at 2.45. What time do you go to bed? I, go, I went to bed at like 11. The, the math isn't math in here. And if by chance you guys want to be coached by this magnificent individual, um, it's only $3,000 per month. Or you could do 7500 for three months. Or maybe you just want to throw in a measly $12,500 for six months. And you know what? Screw it. Fuck it. We're going 20 grand for 12 months. Do you guys want to know what you're going to learn in that crash course? I'll give you a little breakdown. How to rent supercars. Then go on social media and pretend that they are yours. Rent out properties and do the same thing. And how to avoid going to your AA meetings. It's the most undereducated people on fucking earth. They'll just sit there refuse to look at themselves in the mirror and then they'll just be like i just need more money i'm like what the fuck is more money gonna get you you're still gonna be you motherfucker you're very good question wes what is more money gonna get you 
But then again, more money does also allow you the ability to rent more supercars to pretend like they are yours. I'm going to let you guys in on a little insider tip. This is some free information. I'm not going to charge you $20,000 for the year even. And I'm pretty sure this will actually be more valuable information right now for free than you would get from Wes Watson's full 12-month course. The people that try and flex like they have money, the most insane mansions, the most insane cars, the most insane chains, the most insane clothes are actually the most broke people. And how do I know this? Because majority of the billionaires I know wear Walmart clothes. They wear and buy the cheapest shit you can possibly imagine because they are smart with their money. This, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, is not smart. She's not even trying to get a job or do anything. She's not even trying to do nothing but sit by the pool. She said, what'd she say the other day? She said, no, I just want to be a hot wife and sit by the pool all day. I mean... She's probably hiding from you. I'm not even... The best. Reminded me of them cell workouts. Them cell workouts. I've never seen someone try and flex that they have been to prison more than Wes Watson. I don't know if I missed something with the lack of uploads and maybe not being on social media as much, but when did going to prison become a flex? Take your shirt off and stand next to me. Oh, see the f***s winning. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Ah, ah. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. You gotta shave. You know what's a sad thing? It's when you have a 40 year old man, Wes Watson, telling a 16 year old to take his shirt off and then telling him he needs to shave while also being less intimidating than a shirtless 16 year old. That's. You gotta shave this arm hair. Really? You're getting your first fing pube. This yeah. penitentiary shit, I'm 40 fing years old. Fair enough. All right, you win, I guess. Damn I'll it. always win. Should I get tatted up or not? Get blasted. I started off my neck when I was 14. If for some reason you want to be like this gangster you are seeing on screen, it's actually quite a simple recipe. You need to have some problems at home, make some horrible choices, which then lead to you using them as a flex. Exaggerate and make things as crazy sounding as possible. Rent some cars, some houses, some women, and then charge people that are gullible enough to buy your coaching program to teach them how you acquired all that knowledge and success.